just passed my guard. I'm in a very uh, bad position here. He's got side control. He's putting a lot of chest pressure on me. So what I do here first, I keep my elbows nice and tight. So as you can see, my elbows are like dinosaur arms. You can cross them however you'd like to be more comfortable. I got my hand on his shoulder and head and his neck so it keeps him uh, at bay. So I go here, I get my feet really close to my hips and I shrimp out. Shrimp, uh, getting your feet close to your hips allows you to shrimp further and bridge higher. So I go here, I got my knee on his hip, so I'm blocking this, this side of his hip and I got my ankle blocking the other side of his hip. I move my knee over his shoulder, nice as high as you want to. It's not generally a good idea to be low because you can kind of just slip up. So I go here and I move my hips the other way, cut the shoulder, and full guard. Uh, next escape is a plan A. Same thing, I get my feet nice and tight, got my head on his, uh, on his neck and his shoulder, keeping uh, from getting too much pressure on me. So I bridge over my shoulder, not straight up, but like over my shoulder over here. I get my arm under, under hook. And now it's the same kind of basic step. I get my knee in there, keeping them at a distance, and I get my, shoulder, uh, my leg nice and high. The under hook just allows me to have extra control in this position. And I can kind of uh, cup his wrist here. Allows my hips to move a little bit more and close my guard. And the last one uh, for Team Silva is what we do. We get our feet nice and tight. We bridge over the shoulder the same way. This time I do under. But this time, he's a little bit more wise and he knows that uh, I'm trying to get my uh, knee in here. So he blocks my hip with his hand. So he goes here, puts it on the ground, and it keeps me from bringing my knee in. So what I'm going to do is I take two shrimps, and then I step, put my knee right into the same line as his leg. Not too much, though. I don't want to get one plot. And then I go up, grab here, grab his knee. Now make sure I don't go too far, otherwise it's going to roll over the shoulder to get one plot. Or just a lot of other basic attacks of that. So I'm kind of in front of him, having my knee in the same line as his knee. So as you can see, I got it there. That allows me kind of be an ideal angle for this technique, which is a double leg takedown. That's three basic escapes we do at Team Silva. Oh.